All right, Trevor and JP, let's go. And we are done with week three, day three. It's in the books. So, you know. Good workout. Man. So, Gus, which is the, the black dude that you heard speaking at the end of that little clip. Or end of one of the clips. I'm going to show you some of the sparring that uh, some of the more advanced cats do. Uh, and I'm not getting there with them just yet. I ain't ready. I ain't ready. I'll be struggling during mid work. <laughs> catch my breath but uh let me hop in the whip real quick all right we in the whip not the big body this time let me do this come on now oxygen baby huh yeah. oh so maybe i should Do that, but so it's a good workout. This time though, man oh man. Adam and Gus. God damn. <laughs> so Gus was throwing he threw on the protector. Uh the body padding. I'll throw a picture up here real quick. And um Adam was on the bit work. Oh man, talking about kicking your ass. Talking about cardio, 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 mid. You old Gus Gus like hit boom 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 boom, but he's swinging back. He's you know getting you to all the training with the mid work was duck you know combinations stuff like you you starting to instinctively move or block. And of course he's not throwing hard and like that. He knows who's uh, intermediate, who's advanced, who's beginner, and I'm still pretty much beginner. And um, that's exhausting, man. You do that and then you go back. Uh, then you think you for the rest, and here come Adam. Uh, uh let's, let's get this mid work. And so the crazy part is, uh, because it was so it was so many people. Like the class is going, the class is growing. And today was a lot of people, so it's three of us in there. So we think we should get a break, man. They was working us so so crazy. And they were so well organized that you didn't get a break. At least I didn't. I didn't get a break. I'm like, damn, man. I'm, uh, you finish with Gus, and Gus be like, hey, you know, you move, you gotta move. You got to push him off. He does. He'll grapple you. You know, push you up into the corner. You got to get physical, and so it's just real good training, uh, practical training. You know, it's not just theory. You know, you just keep hitting, doing mid work, but then you don't get to put in action. And so I'm thinking, like, in you know, another couple months or so, I'll probably start getting there and sparring with the guys later on. Now I'm gonna show you guys the clips of the sparring as I'm talking. Uh, uh, in like five second, ten second increments, because I'm trying not to get flagged. Because, uh, of course, we playing music in the gym. It's a gym, you know. Most gyms they play music. Uh, most normal gyms play music. You know, Planet Fitness. Uh, well, no, Planet Fitness play music. They do. Uh, so I don't want to get a copyright. You know, flag on my video or whatever like that. So it'll be five second in increments, maybe ten seconds. I'll, I'll see how, uh, what the 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 time amount is and. We'll do it like that, man. But this was a damn good workout. I'm glad I'm forcing myself to come. Even though I came late yesterday, which was Friday uh, morning because I was exhausted because uh, I couldn't make it on Thursday night. I'm glad I came. But I, I, I want to get back to my, you know, schedule of Tuesday night, Thursday night, and then Saturday morning because I feel like that's it gives my body a better, a better time or, or enough time to rest and really, you know, acclimate. And then I'll probably start picking it up and maybe start doing four days a week. Because uh, that's a young lady. She does six days a week. Um, and that's a young lady at the beginning of the video that you heard. But that's Vanessa. She uh, she does six days on average a week. Typically. And so, hold on. All right, well. Pause the video. Let's see me on the damn camera. I guess him and his son must box every now and again. Got the little bright orange G wagon. AMG, you know what I'm saying? 
Cause I ain't seen these dudes at all. Maybe they, you know they come when they can. Oh well. But yeah, man, damn good workout. We still on it. We're not stopping. Um, people noticing that that's uh, you losing weight. You know you getting small, and I feel it. Like uh, I went and bought some workout shorts. I'm actually gonna take it back. Let me grab it real quick. I'm about to run back by Walmart. I got me some more workout shorts, but these are too big. They're in little. These are. 3X. You see my outfit? Hopefully it's not backwards in the video. But yeah, but 3X 48 through 50. Too big. I'm about to get them 44, 46. And so that's a good thing, man. That's a, that's a good thing. It's a, it's a good issue to have, good problem to have. You start, you buy clothes and you put them on, you be like, whoa, okay, it's too big. And that's what we're looking for. We're, uh, you know, we're still changing our diet. I'm finna go buy some food. And to cook, um, grilled chicken. Uh, I'm gonna do some roasted zucchini this time, and um, sweet potato. Oh, uh, invest in an air fryer. That will make your life so much better. The one I have is the Ninja Foodie. I'll throw a link in the description. You can get it at Walmart. It's a little pricey, but um, it's a little bit of money spent spend at one time. But it's your health. You know. You, which one do you value? You know, you know your clothes expensive, your shoes expensive. Take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? My, my health, <laughs> your health is invaluable, especially when you become type two diabetic. You have to take metformin and stuff like that. So, take care of yourself, people. Whatever goals you plan. Big ass white truck lifted, and you just would happen to have a trunk 2020 on the back. Pretty sure he's glue. Anyway, uh, whatever goals you have for your health or to better your health, go ahead and just do it. Don't ask permission. Don't ask somebody. You don't if you don't 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 wait on people to come with you. Just go do it. Go do it. I don't care if you're only doing 30 minutes a day. Go do it. Just go do it. Get it done, and deal with the consequences of better health afterwards. Because if you don't go do it, and you go back to eating the way you used to, and you go back to uh, being sedentary the way you used to, you would have to deal with the consequences of bad health. So just go do it and li live the best health you can live. Live your best life. And until next time, peace and blessings. I'll say.